my exam. I'm an initial checker here at Citizens Advice Wokingham. I think the main thing that I've been impressed with whilst I've been working here is just the in general the one front door policy that's been enacted since coronavirus. I think the range of support that's been provided, whether it's been someone who's needed help with walking their dog, getting their food collected, or more long term advice if it's let's say employment or debt issue that's been caused or worsened by the pandemic has been really impressive and it's shown an enormous amount of uh, collaboration with a number of uh, other non-profit, non-profit organisations as well as local authorities. Hi, I'm Claire, Advice and Operations Manager at Citizens of Ice Wokingham. My proudest moment for 2020 was when we realised after three months of helping with lockdown one that we had helped um, in excess of the amount of clients that we'd helped in all of 2019, which just goes to show what a supremely valuable service we have and the way that we reacted so well to help people during the pandemic with our partner charities. Um, So that made me extremely proud. a trainee debt advisor at Citizens Advice. For me, a highlight of the year has really just been seeing how well the organisation responded to the pandemic and what a positive impact we've really had on the community. Um, I think personally, I'm really proud of contributing towards the Council Tax Arrears project by guiding clients to help resolve this issue and really just help them to manage their finances for both the short term and long term. Hi, for me the big achievement this year has been establishing the new employment advice team. Five of our advisors put their hands up and volunteered and it's been a real pleasure to support their development. Uh, As a result, we've been able to uh, support and help 150 plus uh, clients with their employment cases and got some great outcome for them. It's been a challenging year but a really satisfying year. I'm really proud to volunteer for Citizens Advice in Wokingham. Our one front door approach has provided hundreds of residents with easy access to all the charities and agencies working in Wokingham to support them. To hear that a family of three children with both parents out of work will receive food on the table and presents is truly rewarding. Hello, I'm Susan Parsonage, Chief Executive for Working on Borough Council and I wanted to say a huge thank you to all the staff at Working on Citizens Advice Bureau for all the fantastic work that you've done for the One Front Door. The One Front Door has been critical to the borough's response during this pandemic. So thank you for all the partnership work that you've done in setting that one front door up and also in all the work that you've done in responding to residents that have needed support, much needed support during this crisis. So thank you very much to all of you. Thank you. My name is Caitlin. I started off as a volunteer at Wokingham Citizens Advice in November and I joined the team full time as part of our one front door project and um, I've really enjoyed getting to know the team and um, to work with them over these past few few weeks and months and the thing I'm most proud of is being able to support such an incredibly hard-working team and offer support to our local community uh, throughout this pandemic and into the future. My name is Nancy and I'm an advisor at Citizens Advice Working In. I am especially proud of how quickly we transitioned to an online way of working that enabled us to continue to provide the high quality advice and support that we are known for. This has been invaluable to our clients who especially at this time have needed assistance navigating our complex benefit system and support to face and take control of their debts. volunteering for Citizens Advice since I retired in the summer, so I really am a relative newcomer. I guess my memorable moments so far have been finishing every shift, knowing that we've made a real difference to people's lives, often when they most need help, but really don't know where to go for it. And I guess secondly, seeing the vast array of knowledge that this amazing team of people has, 
and the quality of service that they give week on week. It really is a great organisation and I just love being part of this team. Hi, my name is Trevor. I've been a volunteer at Wokingham Citizens Advice Bureau for over 18 months now. The thing that makes me most proud about 2020 is that when the lockdown came in March, we were able to change our service model so that we all work from home and we help clients over the telephone. We've carried on working that way for the whole of 2020 and we've doubled the number of clients we've been able to help this year, which is truly amazing. And um, I'm also particularly proud that my own contribution to that effort is I've helped over 120 clients. And here's hoping that we get better news for 2021. has been a challenging year but as a training manager I am proud that we continue to offer our open virtual sessions. We've delivered over 24 training sessions virtually to our staff and volunteers and I'm particularly proud that we have also welcomed 36 new volunteers to our service since March 2020. So it has been a busy year and I look forward to seeing in 2021 but for now Merry Christmas everyone and a happy new year. Hello, this is Tracy at Wokingham United Charities. Just wanted to say a big thank you to the team at Citizens Advice Wokingham for their support they've provided to Wokingham Borough residents since COVID started. Not only have you done an amazing job with the one front door, but from a personal point of view, you've been our biggest referrer for emergency grants and you've also played a part in the success of the pilot project between ourselves, Citizens Advice, and the cow shed. So thank you to every single member of the team, staff and volunteers. Um, keep up the good work and helping our residents of Wokenham find a way forward. Merry Christmas. My highlight moment in 2020, it was when I made a follow-up phone call to a client. The appointment was because her application for disability benefit for her child had been turned down. Had she had time to send the letter off with all the supporting evidence? She had. She'd done a really good job and she'd already received a reply. To our great surprise, the disability benefit had been awarded at the first hurdle. This was really unusual. I hadn't expected it at all. I was thrilled and the client was delighted. The highlight for me in 2020 was a conversation back in April. A couple had phoned up wanting to have a food bank voucher. Got that sorted, checked on the right benefits, and just as the conversation was coming to a close, I said, anything else we can help you with? The client said, well, my husband is terminally ill and our bed is so uncomfortable. Is there any way you can help us find a new bed? Well, of course, we could put in the direction of Working United Charities, who gave them a grant for a brand new bed. And I know from the feedback that we've got that it's made such a difference. Hi, my name is Roz. I'm a Citizens Advice Assessor and Employment Specialist. My highlight this year has been joining the employment team, learning more about employment law and using my payroll experience to help clients. Being part of the team has meant building longer term relationships with clients, um, which has been really rewarding. It's been an incredibly busy year for Citizens Advice and I'm so proud of the way we've risen to the challenges and helped more clients than ever before and I'm looking forward to 2021 being part of an amazing team. Hi, I'm Jake Morrison, I'm the Chief Executive here at Citizens Advice Wokingham and a huge thank you to every single one of our volunteers, our staff, trustees, funders and partners, including areas like the council who funded the One Front Door to make sure that we've been able to be here for everyone that needs us right the way across working on Borough throughout the pandemic. It's been one of the most challenging years, surely, of all of our lifetimes. Uh, but our team, who are here to help, who are here to help people find a way forward, have absolutely took up that challenge took it on very readily and we've seen things like more than double the amount of clients that we see in last year. We've scored over £1.2 million of income gains for people and I'm confident that we'll be here next year and the year after helping people pick up the pieces because unfortunately the pandemic will have even more consequences as life continues. So please contact us if you need any help but on behalf of everyone from Sitting to Vice Welcome Gun we wish you a very very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.